themselves who they have been calling to come and sign papers since they are the one who delay paper to sign. If truly they signed paper yesterday, that means they spent time over sharing formula and they are just signing paper now. Uh, I would like to say indirectly, Apostle, like Apostle Ken, trying to debunk what the Honorable Chief, the, the most respected man presently in Grand Community, the one that have feeling for the masses, the one that loves justice, the one that is truthful, a man of honor, double chief, Agbekoya of Yoruba land, whom we respect so much, which, whom his voice actually calmed the grand community. Indirectly, Apostle Ken have come to debunk it that we should not, indirectly, if you re read that voice note of Apostle Ken, we should not be expecting on Tuesday Knowing fully well that the whole place will turn upside down after on Tuesday, how long will I post okay continue on this thing? How long? Does it mean that anything I post okay put hand? Does it mean does not work well? Does it mean there is anything like cause associated to Apostle Ken's life? I am trying to raise it this way because of the past experience. I know Apostle Ken right from Tepicon, as the vice president of Tepicon. In and the president both give us hope over and over, over and over, over and over, over and over, telling us that they have 44 million Nigerians they want to disburse to. 24 million Nigeria they want to disburse to. And this happened 2020. And uh, 2021, I think around February, if I'm not mistaken, when me, when the Ogra Pressure Group was initiated and Mr. Kisley happened to be the president of Ogra Pressure Group during the visit to Abuja with the escorts of uh, Tepicon, we find out from the mouth of the Kozontan, person of Isong, Professor Isong, that what they submitted is just 10 million, 10 million Nigerians, not 44 million. And every day they are announcing 44 million before the public. This set of people have nothing good to offer except lies. When it comes to their words. Now, this brings me back to the meeting of yesterday. If you watch the meeting of yesterday, the only man we get through from his mouth did not speak. That is a person of Ustad Dawu. The respected man in grand in the all grand pressure group, the man we love so much, did not speak. For that man not to speak in the house, it show they have stopped him not to speak because they know that man cannot compromise. He will speak things as it is. He will say the things the way they are. It showed that there are so much thing upside down, so much cover up. Apostle K is no longer person you can take your voice. No, can I? Should I begin to remind us each event Apostle K come to speak, and all of them is lies? Can I remind us the first time Apostle K speak in Grand Community? What I'm saying all this is for us. It's for the masses to think, reason now. Let us not to carry the way by poverty. Poverty, you see, is a mindset. Not the money we lack in our pocket. If you reason beyond the level of your pocket, you can talk like a rich man. Now, don't be scared. Poverty is just a mindset, a state of mind, a mentality. Apostle K is not the owner of money. We shouldn't Abandon God who give the poor masses by the pity God have for poor masses and send money to masses and begin to run after the one that God decided to use. As a matter of fact, Apostle of Christ is not even the choosing one as, as claimed by some member of grand community. Apostle Christ is not an anointed one and ordained as claimed. Apostle K. I remember during the petition when they are fighting with Joshua, Shafa, you see all your food soldiers will say the God of Apostle Ken have, have, have defeated the Jewish God. You're talking about the God of the poor masses, the God of the widow Apostle Ken have collected money from and died. You're talking about the God of the orphan, not the God of Apostle Ken. A man that is lying 24 hours, you think God has business with lies? The first time Apostle Ken ever speak in under UAAG. Before I go there, in Tepicon, after we know all that, before then, in 2020, 
Apostle Ken and Elo Mama give us so much hope that the money, some of us will use it to celebrate Christmas. The money is, ah, the money is coming. We will use it even on Christmas. They will be receiving a lot. On which now they will be receiving a lot. I was 2020, December 24th, December 24th, I was in the, I was in the bank when I heard around 7 a.m. the voice of the president, hello mama, I was saying, at this time, his voice was not sharp as before, good morning, this is your president, hello mama, the president of 44 million Nigeria, on that topic, uh, I'm telling you that we are working, at this time, the voice of no please, ladies and gentlemen, please, this is the voice of Hello Mama. And uh, please uh, don't worry, there are many Christmas, even though you did not use the money to celebrate this Christmas, there are so many. This is the voice we heard. 24th December 2020. Uh, 2020. After all that, the old grand committee is silent. People are broken emotionally. Some die in the process. They will keep calm. On the 30th, that is January. January 2021. January 2021. On the first of January 2021, I received the voice note of Apostle Ken, this same Apostle Ken, the vice president of Etepicon. Around 10 p.m. in the night, he's saying that I am the vice, I am the Apostle Ken. One Kama, the vice president of Tepicon. There is nothing going on in Tepicon. Let me quote him as he said it. Nothing going on in Tepicon that I don't know. Nothing take me on away. Everything is truly set. We are ready. But the CBN said, this festive period, they can't disburse such volume of money. So let us just give them, let's pass this, uh, uh, this festive period. After now, the money will come. Everybody, what shall we do? Rely on that voice of Elum of of uh, Apostle Ken. After after we come, after a festive period have come and gone, Apostle Ken remains silent. We we'll never hear him again. So now, take me take us back to UAAG. The first time he ever spoke and introduced himself as the country director of UAG, he said everything is now good. Everything is okay now. You know that hope? Everybody was so happy. Everybody was so happy. But when the thing becomes so delayed, people were scared. He came up again and he released another voice to say, your fear will not be realistic. Your fear will not be realistic. In other words, your fear will not come to pass. He always has strategies with some lie, calculated lie to deceive the masses. When the masses, and this time I'm telling you, money is going on. At a time he came that all oh, angels should bring 10,000, 10, that the hub is going down. Money, the hub is going down, money delayed to the disbursement. Ah, everybody rush. Even that 10,000, some angels called some of the abundant air to support. One more thousand, they still give. And at the end of the day, I am not an angel anyway. And then, at the end of the day, they're giving the money. We are waiting. We are waiting. The thing is delayed. He starts using, come using a uh, Ugwagashuku uh, revenue Ugwagashuku to collect. He stole so much money from the grand community. And after some time, we are waiting. Apostle Ken came up again. He said, "Disbursement is imminent." And that is when he asked for another money. And people start paying the money. Say disbursement is imminent. We waited, waited, waited. Imminent. We don't understand what imminent. So it seems all of us did not understand what imminent mean. Imminent is supposed to be something that is happening now, very close. But till today, we didn't hear. Well, we are waiting. Everywhere is complaining. Where the place is getting hot. Apostle Khan came up, calculated again another lie, and he said. When he come with that voice note, say the music of your thanksgiving is a bat to be played. Everybody's rejoice is a thank God. The said man have said so. We waited and waited. There was no music, not to talk of dance. After that one has passed, the whole place is getting hot. Apostle Ken came on board again. The There's going to be a meeting. At this time, I'm coming with the news that will gladden your heart. Do you know that that statement hit so many hearts from the mouth of the said man himself. 
and we waited, we waited. The meet is supposed to be on Friday. We waited that on Friday. Rumors came that I was to care have high blood pressure. You see, because the light is finished, it was rushed to hospital according to what we heard. And uh, they should wait. The meeting is shifted to Sunday. They should pray and everybody pray so that we come and give us the news. All this thing I'm telling you, all this are last year, or not be this year. Or we came up again. That was Sunday. Apostle Ken that's supposed to give us news that will grad in our heart. He said, The yeah, tonight I'm not going to speak with the open speech because there are many enemies in that community. And he began to talk back and forth, talk back and forth, talk. At this time, he was not even talking with Matt, he was talking with Nose. Everybody so disappointed, this kind of person, the kind of person he is. Then we start waiting. Nothing good come out from that meeting. We waited, we waited, we waited, we waited until the interview again. And he said, November last year, there must be December. There must be disbursement. To the extent that he is second in command, the monkey hand was interviewed. Monkey hand say, yes, you think that this will happen? I, I'm not thinking, I know so, that November. In all November pass, if these people are good people, anything you are sure of November, supposed to, if it pass, supposed to fall for December, they allow December come and they say December is sacrosanct. Even the monkey hand say, be monkey face and not know, he say December is 27 is sacrosanct. When 27 reach the bunker, Mr. Debunker, OCG come, came and debunk it. While we are still waiting, December, they say is this. I mean, December he come. When Apostle Ken came in December, he said, if one week will be added to December, this busment will take place. This is how. This is where we are. And now he say when January roll out, when the year roll out, the same man who told us that before the year runs out, there will be disbursement. He now changed man that when January roll out. You will not see that there is no single truth in the mouth of this man. I was expecting this meeting that he will, he will come, this meeting. I was expecting this meeting uh, that Osta Dawu will speak to be able to tell us the truth. But they silent him not to speak. And I know the man is not happy with the whole thing. That man, there is no meeting that that man doesn't speak. Now, looking at this old scenario, the masses should wake up. Apostle Ken of Tepicon have not changed. He's still the Apostle Ken of UAAG. Apostle Ken doesn't feel what the masses feel. Apostle Ken have 1,100 1, lies in his mouth. Apostle Ken we always come and tell you what you want you to hear, not what we want to hear. So now, masses, I beg of you, let us reason together. And let's know after or Tuesday. Because the only man we listen to now is the high ship, the double ship Agbekoya of Yoruba land. If Apostle Ken know what is good for them, they would have called that man and gave him the truth. Let that man speak the truth out because they will be finding it difficult to use that man's head. They will find it difficult because that man is influential. They will find it difficult to use that man anyhow. That man will react. So now they are trying to push that man aside, trying to debunk what that man have told him in public, and they are coming up with their own crafty way. These people know what they are doing. And uh, let's look at this point before I round up this voice note. I been in grand community for a while, right from sin. And there is something I observe. Apostle Ken is the most crafty grand handler among all the grand handlers so far. All the grand handler from A to Z to date, from the starting to date, which from Sam, the mother of all grand in Nigeria. The date when they come, they spell it out. They spell it out. This is 
the money this is what is going to ngo this is going to go to director or cluster head bundle head this is what is going to sponsor this is what is going to beneficiaries only apostle ken is the man who is ready to collect money without telling person what is going craftily he came to announce that this grant is free of charge he come back again to say they can only give support and when you are giving support make sure you send your proof of payment because we are going for record purpose we are going to treat people according to your support the people give support because of logistic and logistic money follow the ground and you are dragging logistic money according to you apostle ken you are dragging logistic money up to date are you telling me apostle ken don't know the amount that is coming apostle ken said it the other day that if he said he didn't know the amount he's a liar if at all he claim that the money has not come as a matter of fact who know if they have fixed the money and because they have fixed the money that is why they are bringing story to buy time because by our findings this money have entered why are they dragging percentage when money have not entered so let's leave that side first now up to date there was nothing like template there was nothing like mou and you are believing that apostle came with this board this february i doubt i doubt because as far as apostle K is the one that speak in this meeting forget it that man is a perpetual liar and what pains me so much what pains me so much Chief Agbakoya is not a man of God, but he's a honorable double chief. But he's more honest, truthful than all the pastor in Grand Community. Ah, this is too bad. Men of God who suppose be people that are choosing by God to preach the gospel, they are so full of lies. And the Bible says, he that see white and he call it black is a sin. And whosoever that see black and call it white is also a sin. This is what the pastor in grand community have been doing. I can men who say they are elder like Akisha or Josiah. Every time he will come, he will be supporting Apostle Ken. The one they call Apostle Ken Igolo, they will be supporting a liar. If all the pastor in God keep rebuking this man, sir, we love you, we pray for you, but we are disappointed in this attitude. If they are doing this, maybe probably they would have been the people correct Apostle Ken. But today, Apostle Ken don't even value any pastor because know all of them are compromiser except Chief Agbakoya. I want to say here at this junction that Apostle, uh, the minister, the pastor in Grand Community, they are all failures by supporting the lying grand handler. Uh, the men who give us this grant from a foreign nation, they never fasted and prayed. They just give us. The we that want to receive the money, Akisha Josiah came up the other day. He says he's an elder. I don't know him, but he says he's an elder. That uh, we should go and use salt to bar before we can receive this money. Those who give us money did not use salt to bath. So we that want to receive, we use salt to bath first. Could the salt we use to bath change Apostle came from the spirit of life from Tepico? You know that Apostle Ken brought somebody that duped the president, Hello Mama, that Hello Mama revealed to us publicly that the voice note is still, is still dirty now. How he brought somebody to dupe him some money. This did say hello, mama. Among all the escorts, the leaders of Tepicon, the only person who brought him out to dupe the president. Because he's not the president, he has to bring somebody to dupe the president. This is the man we are talking about here. See, what take people from the first post of duty? Always follow them to the next post of duty. Akishola Josiah, let me tell you. Don't think it's the people because the people did not bath with salt. That is why. I don't know where you put getting all this mentality. Are you poor men of God? Let me tell you something. In ministry, you must understand one thing. Like priest, like people. Like priest, like people. If the if the priest is right, the sin of the people cannot stop them. 
they are hiding under the grace of the father the grace of the priest so the priest pronounce a word and they are blessed the children that Moses lead, they are all not right. All the people of Israel may have not be perfect, but because Moses standing right with God, he stretched forth his hand, he see divided, and he lead the people successfully. So, like priests, like people, it's not even like let everybody you come to you sort of, but our strong apostle Cain is fifty with the spirit of lies. This is what we keep happening not the assault you people should talk to that man you people should not be pretending trying to see the truth and hide it because of here they want to give people enough bundles ha ah, i pity this set of men this generation of contractors of bundles this set of men of god i pity you ah god god love a true speak do one that speak truth a man called funeya is not among you study the bible is not among the levers but at a time when he see the corruption in the kingdom, he stood up with Javelin. He was spearing those who are defying the kingdom, which the priest could not do. From that moment, Funeya was enlisted among the judge. And the next thing we heard that Funeya judged Israel during the time of judges in Israel from Deborah. Now, but as it is now, no man of God can even see the truth and say it. Rather, they are all compromised. I fact, e cover the glory has been departed. What are we talking about? To me, after a Tuesday, Apostle Ken no, that is why I come and talk all this nonsense yesterday. After my Tuesday, he knew there will be trouble because the only man we are believing now is Shif Agbekoya. After our Tuesday, something will happen in this nation. After our Tuesday. So they should pray and do everything for the money to come out. Because all these things, everything that happened yesterday in that meeting, I didn't believe anyone. In as far as that, we did not talk. Forget it. Pastor Ken, who is trying to salign bundle order and the rest, yet is fighting for trillion for himself. How can a, a good leader should think of the people first? Solomon never fight for himself. Say, Lord, the wisdom to lead these great people. God said, you did not even think of yourself. Not even the life of your enemy. But the wisdom to lead my people. For this reason, I will give you wisdom and I will give you words. Such that no king has ever had. And there will be no king after you that will have such. Because of the people. The apostle Ken doesn't have the people at heart. And lastly, before I round up, I pity those who are in the church of Apostle Ken. I don't know that church name, whether I said, sure, you want you want it. I pity them because I wonder what that man will be giving to them. You only give what you have. When you read the book of Timothy, Apostle Paul was admonishing Timothy, Timothy, my son, tear up the gift that was placed on you through the laying hand. Of the presbyterian who are the presbyterian the men of god they have they carry something they are anointed they have the gift of the holy ghost the gift of the holy spirit and when they lay hand upon the member they contact gift in other words what you have is what you give how can people see beyond that this liar each time they lay hand on them they contact spirit of lie demons i pity the member anyway or maybe some are there because of the lie that the grant is coming. But at the same time, it's contaminating them. Because a leader should be honest. A leader should be truthful. We respect Shifa Gbakoya that is not a pastor. Because he's trying to be honest to the masses. And he has feeling for the masses. Anyone that has feeling for the masses, I love him. Even admire that so many are condemning today. He has heart for the masses. He has feeling for the masses. He has passion for the masses. Not apostle can we never think whether well, the masses are dying? This day, day, day. I see that there is nothing apostle can put hand that ever work right from same down to typical. Nothing he put hand that ever there is a problem with that man. Always story, story, story. We are tired for story. We are tired for story. Apostle Ken came to Grand Community with empty. He just come with come empty, poor. He's supposed to be someone 
who is in position to feel for the mercy because he has tested poverty. But Apostle Ken doesn't have the only dare to come and swallow money in his tummy, in his belly. That is all. You see, when you look at him every day, look at his belly, you know that he's not hungry. So let's leave that aside. But what I'm saying, mass is thing. Lazy with this voice note, and let's come together. After on Tuesday, anywhere a pango passed here, make it pass and here. Masses. Let nobody silent you. Keep it silent does not bring disbursement. Ajama Meshi told us, let everyone just silent for one week 47. He said, when the two hours the disbursement will start. We keep silent since that time. All this are just to tide your mouth and make sure that things keep going wrong. Let's scatter the gang community. If there is no money, let us know. If you don't scatter this thing, let everybody rest. Everybody find their way. That is my take. Good morning.